Hello everyone and welcome back to Void Space Alpha. My name is Ollie and today is my first day in the Gold League. It's my first ever game. So I uh, the last video I uploaded actually got me promoted to Silver and then I played one test game to see if I was good enough for Silver and uh, it promoted me to Gold immediately. So thank you so much to the 18,500 people that have left their comments, tips, tricks, suggestions, feedback to help me improve my game. I'm going to try and do my best to honour that now by playing my first game in Gold League. So thank you so much. This could be a terrible one. I could just get demoted immediately, but I'm going to focus on all of the feedback that you guys have been giving me, which is a bit more aggressive scouting, focusing on my macro, and uh, just generally trying not to drop the ball early game here. So let's uh, crack straight on. Control group one on the command center, SCV being built. Let's get that going. Um, somebody has been mentioning oh, camera hotkeys quite a lot, and I know that's a thing that I'm going to have to work on. And yeah, being up against the Zerg here, I know that I'm going to have to play quite aggressively. So yeah, I'll do my best to, to focus on that. That's going to get me up to 16 SCVs in the queue, 17 there. So... Yeah, I should get a very slight supply block if I'm on for a good timing here when the barracks pops out. Out of supply already. There we go. And barracks straight down there. And then we're going to get ready for our refinery. Like so. Put two SCVs on control group two. Grab an SCV here. Cue that up. And we're going to go down here. And then to here. And then to here. That's my early scouting done. We're going to get defensive marine. We'll saturate that gas. And I think it's all kind of going okay at the moment. I mean, it's very hard to tell whether it's going to be a good game or a bad game when you're 1 minute 19 in. But, you know, I'm definitely doing my best. He's going to do that. And this should finish up literally right on time. There we go. Defensive Marine, Orbital. Hey, lay off my SCVs, you jerk. Okie dokie. Not seeing anything hugely worrying at the moment. I'm guessing the expansion second hatch is over here on the gold, and we will be looking for that. Want a piece of me, boy. Second Defensive Marine. Our command center expansion. There we go. And we'll get that second supply depot down now. Oh, yeah, so there's the SCVs. other hatchery there. Yeah. SCV ready. Go, go, go. Keep that SCV production going out. Let's get the reactor. And then this guy. Get him inside. So we don't lose the SCV. Put that back up. Factory. There we go. Get that on control group one. And I want an engineering bay. Keep the SCVs pumping out. We've got enough, uh, I was going to say enough gold there. It's not gold, it's minerals. Enough minerals for the um, orbital, the second orbital. There we go. Get the engineering bay on control group one. Put that on control group two. SCV ready. Armed and ready. Second racks. There we go. Tech lab there. SCV and we've got a decent ready. few marines popping out. Start um, attack one. Two racks, a factory, and a starport. We'll Our get the tech lab on. on go, go, there we go. go, we're fully saturated there, so we can change that over. Huh? Let's get that. Gotcha. SCV ready. Yeah, here comes the early Zerg aggression. There we are. Couple of defensive turrets down. Come on, tech lab. Send two marines out just to have a look. Come 
Okay, we're okay. Good to go. Give us your best shot. Let's get two Marines down there. Everybody else down here. Slacking a bit on the SCV production. Let's get a Marauder out. Yeah, a bit low on supply. If we're going to be low on supply, I'll start the upgrades. Gotta build more supply depots. Still need more supply. Yeah, that's one thing I've dropped the ball on a bit Go today. Time. Getting a few marauders out, which is nice. Get yeah, finish up one one. There we are. This is definitely oversaturated here. Get that third gas. All out of gas. Not enough vestments. Yeah, we're out of gas. All out of gas. Second medevac at least. Bad news. In the rear with the gangway. Coming through. There we go. Go ahead. It's on. SCV ready. All out of gas. So if I'm out of gas, What's I think the best on? bet is to just Our drop down extra racks. SCV ready. Ready for dust off. It's about to get him. SCV ready. SCV ready. Looks like that there research is done. Will do. Ah, you scared me. Big job, huh? SCV ready. Armed ready. Okay, it's definitely a Nidus coming in. Kaboom, baby. There we go. It's the overseer done. SCV ready. Ready to roll out. Need more gas for that. SCV ready. It's about to get heavy. Not enough Vespine. Still on Vespine. Huh? Upgrade complete. Need more gas for that. Combat shields. All out of gas. Still out of gas. All out of gas. How many works am I on? 62. Pretty that. decent number. Probably could have got a lot more racks, if I'm being really honest. Not enough Vespine. Need more gas for that. Come All on, let's get gas. two queued up. On complete. There we are. Right, and if that's going to be the What's case. Mineral cluster depleted. You want a piece of me, boy? Right, okay. Let's have a blast. Yeah, banelings and roaches. That was a very good scan. In terms of fixing and finding. Ten four. Uh, yeah, come up here. Sure thing. Big job, huh? Nope, can't build there. Ah, you scared me. Nope, can't build there. Who wants some? Roll it. Armed and ready. Research complete. Depleted that mineral cluster. Start a step. Start a step. Start a step. Start a step. The banelings are going to be bad. But I should be able to push through. Let's get loads of marines producing. Thanks. That mineral cluster's mined out. Keep going before he can produce more stuff. Should be able to push in here quite hard. Okay, he's going to get some banelings. Okay, my first win in gold. That is 
Awesome. Yes, I knew as soon as I got to that critical mass of, I think, about 100 supply, I just needed to keep the pressure up. I'm uh, going to watch the replay back here just because I'm a little bit more interested in watching how the Zerg player develops than myself. What is with that music? Have I just turned music on for the first time? Sorry about that very brief interruption there. The wife came in to have a quick chat with me and I had to explain how I was over the moon that I just won my first game of gold and she uh, she didn't care. I think I did pretty well on the scouting here. I saw one gas, a spawning pool going down, and then I just confirmed the second hatchery. So I was like, okay, it's probably not going to be like super, super aggressive, but it's still going to be pretty aggressive. So straight into the factory. I feel like my macro was kind of on point here in terms of quantity and uh, of buildings and volumes of units coming out. Apart from when we kind of got to the end there where I dropped down the extra three racks. I should have been building racks a little bit faster. Here comes the Zergling push early. Yeah, he knows he's not going to get through there, so he takes his Zerglings back. That's completely fine. If we look at losses, yeah, literally nothing to speak of at the moment. Take some Marines out to scout out before I put down my uh, expansion, because I know if I can get my couple of Marines out there and I've got my tank on the high ground, I'm probably going to be able to hold this expansion, which is good. Turrets in the mineral lines. Supply was okay. I think I got supply blocked a couple of times. Here we go in Roach Ling Bane. There's the Roach. There's the Ling. No Banes to speak of yet, but there are four in production yet. There we go. And yeah, we'll just drop it down on the speed now because we've only got a couple of minutes left. Here comes the Overseer. Every time I see an Overseer, it doesn't matter about timestamp, it doesn't matter about anything. I just worry that he's just scouting for a Nidus. So taking that out is always going to be good. And actually, if I may say so, from this Zerg player specifically, I'm not seeing the level of aggressive scouting and map uh, map vision that I would have expected to see from a Zerg player. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm thinking to myself now, about 7 minutes 30 into the game, I'm going to drop a scan at some point just to locate the enemy army. Where is it likely to be? And I went for this base here because of the, the speed at which they... <coughs> excuse me the speed at which they move across the map with their hatcheries. Hatcheries are a production structure. Yeah, it's a really good scan there. Well worth it for a um, for a, the loss of a mule there, effectively. And then I'm deciding where do I want to engage here. So do I want to engage on the low ground where he can reinforce really quickly? The answer is probably no. I'm going to go and re-engage on the high ground. And I think I got my siege tank sieged up just before I moved in. So basically as soon as I could see creep... I got the siege tank sieging up. Yes, I'm attacking his overlords. Siege tanks go down. I'm scanning, looking for creep tumors. Stim and move back, stim and move back. Probably took out way more units there than I had any right to. Sure, I lost the siege tanks, that's fine. But he's down to five roaches that are going to get chased away. Yeah, there's a few more lings popping out. But the medevacs can go in with these guys. And then now it's just a case of, in my head, I'm just saying to myself, okay, all I've got to do is keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure up. I've got my medevacs. I've got more units trickling in. Let's keep them moving. And I think he knew from there it was GG. Even the banelings that he snuck through here, the cocoons are going to get shot down by the incoming reinforcements. So, do you know what? Actually, probably not a great uh, example of incredible macro. He did have 10... Um, roaches popping out at some point there uh, just before the end but um yeah i don't know if they would have turned the tide uh, in terms of production for me a tank six marines one one upgrades literally just about to finish uh in terms of units lost let's have a look so yeah traded incredibly well there i only lost 19 units 1700 resources to 5000 so that's pretty unrecoverable yeah here's the roaches down here that I was just speaking about and as I was moving out I was going to take a fourth as well and probably turn that into a planetary get a couple of turrets up just to stave off any kind of attack let's have a look at upgrade spending interestingly I got nothing on this zerg yeah I got stim shields one one and one on the vehicles but uh, realistically I don't think I had any decent upgrades there to speak of. So if that game would have gone differently or that one encounter would have gone differently, then perhaps I would have been on the back foot from the upgrade perspective. Who knows? Um, but no, look, I think all in all a good game. I think I used a little bit of the advice that you guys gave me, which was keeping up my production, keeping up my production buildings. And uh, yeah, 
you know, all I needed to do was add these four extra barracks to the um, command group, which would have taken me up to eight. Uh, so an eight one one probably could have done with another factory and another starport. But I think I was just too focused on the fight here and ensuring that I caused damage. Um, but look, um, that's my opinion. I don't care about my opinion. What I care about is your opinion and where you think I could have done better and changed, etc. In fact, I just want to go back and look at that initial push. Um, was it about here? What was my supply? 133. And actually, the Zerg player was ahead of me. So, um, yeah, that is an interesting time to push there. I think I just did well at kiting enough of those units away that the Banelings didn't really make a difference and I had a decent mix of Marauders in the army. But look, that's my, that's my feedback on myself, which is not important. What is important is your feedback. So please do continue to leave your feedback down below. Popping up on your screen now will be some other videos that I implore you to check out. Please do. I hope you find them as interesting as this. Um, I published a new schedule to the channel uh, just yesterday, I believe. Do check that out. <coughs> Excuse me, I just choked on my own saliva. That's disgusting and horrible in equal measure. <coughs> and in the description, oh my God, I'm dying. In the description of this video and every video is a link to a Discord server. Check it out. Come hang out with other gamers. It's not just StarCraft 2 we play there, but it is predominantly StarCraft 2. So yeah, come and hang out there. I will see you in the next episode.